everyone. Welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes. So today I'm just sharing two very minor uh, Nordstrom purchases with you and explain exactly what's going on here. So first item I want to show you is something I wouldn't say is an impulse buy, but it was on my wish list for a while and I've been hemming and hawing about it because I usually don't buy myself jewelry and I thought it might be too big on me and I think I am right. It is too big on me. So I was at the diner a couple weeks ago with my husband and you know, I was looking at my wish list and I said, you know what, screw it. Let me just buy it and see it because I'm going to be regretting if it sells out and I never got a chance to try it. So what I'm showing you is a bracelet. It's the Kareen Sultan Yale Y-A-E-L open work cuff, right? And I'm pretty sure it was 80 something dollars on Nordstrom. And I will put the links below. It is gorgeous. I mean, this is a beautiful cuff bracelet. So I'm gonna take it off and bring it in closer so you can see the detail. I really like it. I just think it's a little bit too big and loose and um, you know, kind of flowing around here on my wrist. <laughs> and just like overwhelms my whole wrist here. So I'm gonna be returning this. I do think it's gorgeous. If my arm was just a little bit bigger, I would definitely keep it. I tried to see if I can get it like on my arm because I also want an arm cuff, believe it or not. But this is as far as it goes and this is kind of like an awkward spot, all right? So I think I'm gonna be returning this. I really do like it. If somebody can recommend a place where I can get a cute cuff for petite people, let me know. <laughs> and again, I'm also looking for an arm cuff too. Then, um, I don't know if you remember this, but when we used to do Trunk Club, when that service ended, my, I wouldn't say it was local, but a, a Nordstrom about an hour from my house reached out and asked me for $50 off a free styling session. I went to that, the experience was horrible. It was in the dressing room. They wouldn't leave me alone. People were barging in, including customers, other other you know people that work there i had no privacy it was it was not a good experience and the clothing that they gave me just wasn't really my style but i got that fifty dollars off bought something returned it and then lost that fifty dollars so out of nowhere um that same woman that sent me that email gosh it was like a year and a half ago now um called me or emailed me and offered me another fifty dollars for a styling session but she said i can do it either in store or virtual. So virtual sounded a lot better to me because that last time it was not a good experience. So I said, I'd like to do it virtual. Plus the store is an hour away from me. So then she says, well, what are you looking for? Well, she didn't say, she didn't say ask me what I was looking for. She said, fill out this survey. The survey was the same generic survey that I filled out in the past and asked me, you know, brands I liked, and what I'm looking for, and it was just like um, workout wear, uh, evening wear, I think it was, work wear or everyday casual. And I said everyday casual. And uh, they asked me for the brands I like. So I put down my brands that I like. Liverpool, Cut From The Cloth, Sanctuary, you know, um, Astro The Label, BB Dakota, Steve Madden. And they also asked me my shoe size because they said it would include shoes too. All right. So, oh, getting excited here. You know, <laughs> you know me and my shoes. So then um, she says, do you have a price range? I said, the total amount can't be more than 300 and I'm not really comfortable in paying more than $100 per item. Then I didn't hear from her <laughs> for a few days, probably over a week. So then I kind of thought, well, I guess I'm not good enough to get the $50 off. But I emailed her back. I'm like, am I still eligible for the styling session? So she said, oh, she was out sick. She'll hook me up with the stylist right away. So she hooked me up with the stylist who didn't ask me any questions at all. And they said, here, here are the links. Click one of my links. You, know, it, you put it in your cart. And basically, it was just a link from her, like a website that I can add to my regular Nordstrom cart. And what did she give me? She gave me faux leather pants and black, I have. She gave me, um, you know, motor jacket, black, I have. You know what I'm saying? It was very basic items, nothing different, nothing that went together. They were just very generic items. And I said, well, you hit my style and you got the brands I like, but I already own these. So can you find something a little different? And she came up with a few other items, but it was just like, yeah, it was nothing exciting. And then she started coming up with 
one thing that I said, you know what? She, she actually sent me a bunch of things that actually happened to be on my wish list. So I'm almost thinking she looked to see if I had an Nordstrom wish list. And she put one of the items that was on my wish list, which is this denim jacket by Liverpool. Now this jacket retails for $109, but keep in mind, if I decide to keep this, I'm getting $50 off. It's like a mauve color, all right? I don't know if you can see that. The lighting here is not good today, I'm sorry, but it's like I put on my ring light and you get that glare. If I put on the overhead lights, it gets yellow. So it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm screwed either way. <laughs> so this Liverpool jacket is a little bit different, even though it's a denim jacket. It does have um, like a raw edge here on top, which is reinforced, okay? Um, and then down at the bottom, okay? And it has a rounded collar versus the typical jean jacket style of a collar, right? Um, so I kind of like that. Uh, there are side pockets here, right? Working side pockets and the regular pockets that work up the top, which I never use. And of course it buttons, all right? So I will try this on, see how I like it. It is sent in a regular extra small. And I want to also look at it with the items I was considering wearing it with to see if I think it looks like a nice outfit. If I don't like the way it looks together, I'm probably going to return this jacket because the whole point of this was to mix with some items that I have now that I don't wear that often because I'm always freaking cold. <laughs> All right, give me a minute and I will style this with at least one top and we'll see how we like it. Give me a minute. Okay, so the weather's not cooperating and I have my ring light on and I put it on low because there was a really big glare and you really couldn't see anything with the ring light on. So hopefully with this low, you can get an idea. I have this paired with a, um, like a toile shirt that I got from Wantable. I'll come a little closer so you can see the colors. It's not a perfect match, but I think it goes well with uh, this jacket. It's, uh, and I paired them with these uh, distressed jeans from Express. And again, I could have gone with my ivory uh, shoes or these uh, white ones. I think the white actually kind of go better. And uh, yeah, I think this goes and I like it. One thing I wanted to point out this jacket, it does have these split, um, you know, arms here and it is distressed here. So kind of folding it up, which is what I typically do with my jackets, doesn't quite work because they kind of, stick out i would have to fold them like up twice and then you kind of lose the cuff all right so you could do that um let me know which one do you like it better do you like it double cuff so they don't stick out or do you like it open with the flap right here and keep it down i'm also going to look back at the footage give me a minute i'm going to show you some other tops that would work with this but i'm not going to be trying them on so i have this dark plum one from white house black market that i think would go well with this I also have this new one from Tarte Collection that I got from my front door fashion that has mauve in it. And I wore this with my pink moto, but there's mauve in it as well. And I think this is a different look I can give this top. And I think I've, you guys have seen this a million and one times before. This snake print top from White House Black Market. This blouse would go perfectly with this color. It, it's like a perfect match. So needless to say, I'm keeping this jacket. I am going to uh, let my stylist know because she still actually has to apply the $50 to my order. So that's one thing. You purchase it on Nordstrom.com using the link that she gives you and then I have to let her know that I received it and then she said she'd apply the $50 off. So as long as that $50 off comes through, I'll be keeping this jacket. Well, that is it for today. Thank you again for returning subscribers. I appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's holding you back? I do shopping hauls, try-ons, unboxings. Give this video a thumbs up and click that notification bell to get notified of future videos from me. Take care. Until next time.